Oh, this thing smells so dumb right here. What is going on, guys? Today I'm back with another banger. You already know how it is. So, guys, today what I'm gonna be doing is I am gonna be hand feeding my boa constrictor, which is a snake, guys. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So if you missed the video of the unboxing the dark web snake guys make sure to go check it out link down below We did it on Jay's channel. It was absolutely insane So I was thinking about actually trying to hand feed us some frozen mice guys This is gonna be insane. So before we get started I want everyone to go down there and smash the thumbs up button I want at least 5,000 likes, 5,000 likes down below You already know how it is guys 5,000 likes is all I'm asking for so go down there and smash it All right guys, so I'm about to show you the book Boa Constrictor Snake. It's in this room right here. Oh my god. It's in the same room as the piranhas. Let's see. Update on the piranhas. Piranhas are still good. Also, if you missed that video we did on my channel, guys. Last to remove hand from the piranha tank wins $10,000. It was insane. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you missed it, check it out. Alright, so the snakes are right into here. Guys, this cage is dirty. Everything is bad, so we got to take these locks off. These snakes are super scary. They're called Boa Constrictors. So we'll just check up on them. Oh my god, guys. This is insane. These snakes are absolutely insane. Look how big they are. These are two snakes, one male and one female, guys. This is insane. So if you guys can think of a name for them, comment down below. And whatever name has the most likes, I'll comment. That will be the name of these two dark web snakes. Guys, this is going to be insane. So go down there, comment the name for the female and male. They look a little hungry. Let me try touching them. This one is shedding, as you see. Look at that guy. Is he nice? He's feeling good. So that's the male that's shedding right now, and that's the female one right there. And as you can see, the cage is super, super dirty. And the reason is because we put a live rat in there. It was insane. Oh my god, guys. The rat was just making an insane mess. So I gotta go to the pet shop. I gotta get padding for the bottom of the cage. And I also have to pick up a couple things because I'm kind of scared to pick them up. So I might get a rod. And then maybe some frozen mice so I can actually try and hand feed the snake. So guys, it's actually insane how we have these boa constrictors. Like these these are one of the most dangerous snakes that you could get your hands on. They are absolutely vicious. Look at it moving, guys. This is insane. Oh my goodness. The cage is super dirty. And I'm sweating in here because this room is super hot. We make it hot just for the boa constrictors because they can only live in high humid areas. So this place is super humid right now. So guys, without further ado, let's go to the pet store. All right, guys, so right now in PetSmart, I have to get a couple things for the boa constrictor. So it's gonna be absolutely insane. I'm trying to get a rod because I'm kind of scared to hold the boa because it's a little scary. Because you know the boa constrictor is a little dangerous, so I need a rod to hold it. But if I can't find a rod, I guess I just gotta man up and hold it with my hands, guys. It's gonna be insane. Pardon? You can't film in store. Why not? Because you're not allowed to. No store will allow you to film in store. I always film here. May I ask what you're doing? I'm just uh, getting stuff from my snake. Well, snake stuff is over there. This is dog section. I'm just curious to know what you're doing. All right, guys, so I just finished with PetSmart. They wouldn't let me film in there. I don't know why. I'm not doing anything bad. But I did get to purchase the stuff for the snake, so I'm going to show you what I got. All right, so right here, I got the stuff that goes at the bottom of the cage for the bedding. I got this that goes on top of the actual bedding. And I got two frozen mice right over here. And the snake rod, but I think this is too small, so I might have to try to bend it and make it bigger. All right, so that is everything that I just got from this store. Now let's go back home and clean the cage. All right guys, so I just came back from the pet store. That was absolutely insane. I think I have everything I need for the snakes, guys. This is insane. Let's just start putting everything in right now. Let's just check up on them again. Guys, the snakes stay cuddling. They're always under this log. Oh, they moved this log over. Jeez Louise. All right, guys, this is a mess. The piranhas over here are just chilling. All right, guys, I think what we need to do right now is start cleaning the cage for these snakes. So, guys, let's just grab everything for it right now and start cleaning. All right, guys, so I have a glove on. Now I'm going to change the water. The water is super dirty, so that's the first thing we're going to start. All right, snakes are being all right. What is this stuff that's on it? Oh my god, what is this? That is disgusting. Gotta clean that. For now, I'm gonna change the water bowl, guys, because it's super, super dirty and there's rat poop inside of it. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna bring it into the washroom and we're gonna drain it. The washroom, we're just gonna rinse it out because we don't wanna put chemicals in it. 
So I'm just gonna rinse it out. We're just gonna put it up there for now till we clean that. And guys, the reason the water bowl is so big, apparently the snakes actually drink from it. And if they get too hot, they actually put their whole bodies inside of it. So that's the reason why the bowl is so big. All right, guys, so I got the water bowl right there. Now I'm gonna take these. I made some pre-rolled ones because I could only use one hand. And guys, look how disgusting this is. Oh, come on, don't bite me, snake. Oh, the snake is hissing. Oh my god, it's hissing. I'm just trying to clean the poop for you, that's it. We gotta keep cleaning, guys. Then I'm gonna hand feed them properly. Let's see if the snake is nice. All right, it seems a little nice, but you never know. All right, guys, so I'm gonna keep cleaning the cage. This is too gross for you guys to watch. So I'll pick you guys back up when I'm putting on the bedding. All right, guys, so I have the bedding right here. So we're gonna start off with the dirt and we're gonna fill it up, you know? All right, we're gonna turn this light off. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> so this is how we keep it humid is with this light over here. So we got this bedding right here. I don't know what it is. All I know is for reptiles. So I gotta open this and we're gonna put it a good layer across the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna put this all across. We got two bags. So I'm gonna put on the first bag over here. I'm gonna just break it up so the snakes are nice and happy. Right. Now I gotta touch the snakes, guys. This is the scary part over here. All right, so which snakes should I... Oh, they're all rocking each other. They're cuddling. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to grab them. All right, this is gonna be a little hard, guys. So I got some Christmas stockings <laughs> on because you know, that's the only protection I can grab. And then I'm gonna grab them like this. All right, they're awake now. You gotta now. do one at a time. Yeah, but you see how they're tied? That's kind of hard. I would take this one. If that one's not the one that's shedding, I would take... Yeah, they are kind of tied, eh? Yeah, they're like really tied up. So I have to find a solution. So I have to find a solution to actually untie them and put them here. Okay, before I do that, maybe I should put this. Because this is the second layer of the bedding. Open this maybe up. they'll appreciate it. So maybe they'll like it. Oh, look, they put both heads on each other. <laughs> they're so cute. I'm going to try this right here. But this is too small. Alright. Kind of working. Okay, it's liking it. This one is liking it. Guys, we still need a name. So this one is the male one, and that one is the female. So we still need names. Still a little scared to touch the snake. But I managed to move the female one over, and now the male is over here. Guys, I'm super scared to touch them. If you want me to do 24 hours with my hand inside the cage, let me know it. So not the thumbs up button. But anyway, guys, let's just proceed on moving the snakes. Who's going up? I'm gonna grab up the other one. Right up to here. All right, so we move the snake over. Now we're just gonna fill this side up just like so. Right now we're gonna move it over like this. We're gonna move it in, spread it out nicely. Oh, it's liking the bedding. Oh, it likes the bedding. It's like sticking its tongue out and stuff. All right, guys, it's too hot in here, but we do got the skull. We're gonna put it right in this corner. All right, so we got a skull for them right here. That's gonna look good. We got this tree bark. We're gonna put it right over here. You see that? This is next to the do they? Yeah, that's how they hide themselves. Look, he's hiding it's himself It's camouflaging. Jeez. That's crazy. Yeah, okay, this one's camouflaging. It's like a real snake in real life. All right, so we move the snake over. Now, we gotta put this right there. Nice. All right, so we got the water bowl, the bark, we got the skull. That's a full-on upgrade. You think the snake is gonna be happy with it? Yeah, it's gonna love it. All right, guys, so we got the mice I got from the pet store right here. This is scary. Oh my god, am I actually gonna hand feed it? <laughs> oh yes. my god, careful, they might bite off your hand. They probably will. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my god, the female one is ready, but the other one is camouflaged under. Okay, I gotta open this. Oh, oh my god. That is so uh, gross. I feel so right. bad for that mouse. Uh, so we got the mouse right here. We want to hand feed it. Oh my god. You gonna eat it? Okay, guys, I think we have to put real movement into it. You ready? I'm scared to have myself around anywhere close to this cage. Well, he's gonna attack. Oh, he's smelling it. Oh my god, is he gonna go? He's smelling it. Oh, he's going, he's going. Come on. Oh, he's smelling it? I think he's trying to wrap around it. Me too, yeah, he's trying to get out. You think, should I do this? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, he might be going, he might be going. Oh my god, Come on, get him! Yes. Come on, good dog. Get him. This one doesn't want to eat. Let's see if the male one wants to eat over there. Okay, let's see. Guys, we gotta stay quiet. Lexi, you think he's gonna eat it? I don't know. You they don't must think be so? hungry. They haven't eaten in like two weeks. That's true. That's true. He's going. He's going. 
I guess we're just gonna wait and see. Go ahead, I think he's going close to the raft so he can like wrap himself around oh, it. Oh, that's true. Why is he not eating? I don't know. Aren't they supposed to eat right away? I think he's about to or something. The piranhas would definitely eat the mice. Should I just ride with the piranhas? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm supposed to just turn on this light for heat. <whistles> Get him! So the snake still has not eaten the mice. The mice are sitting there. The snake is right there. And the male snake is just chilling in there. Why are they not eating it? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, should I grab the mice like this? And then I go like this? Come on, snake, eat it. What's oh, opening its mouth? Get him! Come on, get him! Guys, I don't know why. Look at the snake camouflaging with this wood bar. She's so nice. Alright, guys, so I just switched to my GoPro. So I'm gonna put this GoPro on top of the snake's head and see what the snake actually does. So, guys, I'm gonna put it on right now. I have no idea what the snake is gonna do. Maybe it'll eat the mice. Maybe not. I guess we'll just have to find out and see. So, guys, I'm gonna put this GoPro on top of the snake's head right now. Let's do this. Here's the snake. Now, I'm gonna put it on top of the snake's head. guys oh the gopro fell off oh my god guys what happened the gopro fell off it was on top of the snake's head but now it's gone guys i have no idea what the snake was doing but the gopro was just on its head and then it was just sitting there Jeez, louise okay that snake is still there that snake is made like a hole there there's one mice oh there's other mice oh my god where is it hold up let me just look in here wait what did it eat it oh my god i think it did this snake i think was the one that ate it because that's where the gopro was strapped but there's one mice left this one is not eating i don't know why this is so weird but guys the snake is so big Jeez, i need a name for the female so this is the female one and this is the male one right here guys i still need names for them this is insane the piranha tank is being a little loud let's check up on the piranhas one last time if you have any video ideas with the piranhas let me know down below in the comments just comment the challenge with the piranhas and i will do it and also comment the challenge with these snakes right here guys these are boa constrictor snakes comment the challenge and i will do it but anyway guys i think this is gonna be a wrap for this video if you enjoyed make sure to smash that thumbs up button but anyway guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and as always peace